Hi guys, it's Marie. Um, so, if you've known, I've been trying to get some baby chicks. We were set up the brooder the other day, and it has just been very hard to get these baby chicks. They have, I've asked and asked, you know, they'll say, yeah, we're getting them in. I'll call, oh, we just got meat chicks. Um, they should be here, you know, this day or that. It's been going on for about two or three weeks. So, called yesterday. They were supposed to get them Wednesday. They only got meat birds. Called yesterday, which was Thursday, and they <clears throat> said that, sorry, my throat's a little scratchy today. They said that uh, they had gotten bantams, turkeys. What else did they get? Bantams, turkeys, and I think more ducks. So, not that I'm opposed to bantams. Um, I just wanted the regular size chicks. I know with bantams, they're cute as heck, but I think they have a less production and you need about two of their eggs to make one egg, which isn't the end of the world if that's what we end up with. I don't know. But, um, uh, yeah, so they called them yesterday and that's what they've gotten in. They said today, this morning, they were supposed to get, get their layers. They get them at about eight and then they have to, um, they let them sit for a couple hours. So around 10 ish, they'll go ahead and sell them. So I'm going to go into work a little bit this morning and then book it down there and see what it's like. If, if it's a madhouse, you know, a hundred people waiting for these chicks, then I'll just wait till it's a better time. So I, there's a couple other stores that are getting them next week that I don't think will be as big a rush as this store I'm getting them at, but we'll see. So hang in there. You'll find out with me if we end up with chicks today, um, just in case I got the brooder ready. Um, I'm going to show you guys. So I went ahead and turned the heat plate on. It's got to sit for about an hour in order for it to get um, heated up for them. Um, got the food ready, the water. If you want to why it's orange, well, that's because I put the electrolytes in there. Um, so it'll help them with the stress. Now, what I always like to do, I showed you this earlier. Whoops, I'm missing. Is I just put these little, I have already rinsed these little, little beads off. I rinsed them off real well. And then I like to just set them in the water. And that, I'm sorry if you guys are, that keeps the chicks from getting in there and drowning. So they can peck and still get the water, but um, they can't get in there and drown. Um, especially if we end up getting bantams. So here's my little setup. Um, we'll let that warm up and stay in there. And then hopefully we'll come back with some some chicks. Now I said I was going to get a stone or a brick or something to put the water up on, which I probably still will. It just helps in keeping the little chicks from kicking in the, the wood shavings in there. However, sometimes when you first get them, they're so small. I just want to make sure that they can eat and drink. If they make a mess, I'll clean it up later. I'm not too worried about it. But in the long run, you don't want to be wasting a bunch of feed or have their, you know, water constantly filled with chips because that's, of course, not healthy for them. So I do have some stuff outside I'll show you once I get that. But I wanted to get them in here for the first day and just let them eat and drink it however they want and, and we'll worry about that probably tomorrow. So check back with me. Hopefully next time I pick you up, we'll be putting some baby chicks in the brooder. Cross your fingers and we'll see. Hi guys. So as you probably saw from the photo, we did it. We finally got baby chicks. I'm so excited. I had to stand in, I had to get there about 10 minutes before they sold them. I sent about a 15, 20 minute line and but we left out and we got them. So I didn't show you guys me putting them in there because I like took off a little bit from work because I had to be there at that certain time and then I had to go back to work. So they already in, I got them, you know, dipped their beaks in the water, made sure they took a drink and got them used to the, the little heat plate. I'm gonna show you, so here we have it there under their little heat plate. And I'm just gonna, I don't wanna disturb them too much, but we'll just give you a little view under there. You can see them. They're all doing really well. Um, here are their cute little, cute little cheeps. I'm sorry, it's not the best lighting in here, but they're in my living room. In this little house that we rent, um, I say little, it's two stories. We live in the bottom story. It's my son and they're in his wife, my daughter-in-law's living in the top story. So it's not really little, but down here is kind of small, which is fine for us. We don't have heat. They have, it's an old house. They have some baseboard heaters that I do not trust. So we don't use them. We have a fireplace and we have space heaters. So the warmest place right now is in the living room. So that's where I have them. And this lighting is just not great, but they have their heat plate. I have a heater on them. Um, oh, they came out to eat. So let's see two of them. 
So the little gray one is a sapphire gem. Uh, the little brown one they say is an Americana. Um, Americanas are a little rare, and the, the, I think it's an Easter egg. Or, um, they're kind of a mixed breed of the Americana, and I forget what the other one is. But it says Americana. Usually feed stores, you don't find the Americana. But um, either way, it's an Easter egg, or, and so I really like the green eggs. I'm hoping with an Easter egg or you could get a pink egg, a light brown egg, the green eggs, more of a blue egg. So hopefully I like the green or blue, so hopefully it's what we get. Um, I think I think the sapphire gem lays like a light colored, light colored egg. And then the little black one you saw in there was a, um, what was it? Oh, a silver laced white dot. So I've never had the silver laced white dot and I've never had the sapphire gem. So it'll be fun to see them. I hear they're pretty good chickens, uh, really good egg layers, which is what we got them for. They say the sapphire gem is a really, really friendly chicken. The Easter eggers are usually pretty friendly. So hopefully we'll handle them a bit and get them, get them uh, used to us. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I gotta run to the feed store. They didn't have the chick grit that I wanted. So I'm gonna get some chick grit and come back. And when I come back, I'm gonna probably clean up their cage a little bit. Um, yeah, the little Easter egg when we got her, she, she wasn't eating and I was a little worrisome. I know their first few days they're good because they have their yolk and stuff, but I do like to see the chicks take those first few bites. So I ended up just getting a little wet and feeding her out of my hand. And now she seems to be eating just fine. I'll just keep an eye on her, but she's very healthy. They all made it through their first night. Um, they're very active and looking good. So uh, I'll get up guys. I will update you guys later and we'll check on them and see how they're doing. Thanks for joining me.